everyone. Welcome to the Mind Story session on Thursday. Time flies, right? It was just like yesterday we had Mind Story session. But that is how it is. Uh, it's again Thursday. And hope everyone is uh, feeling relaxed. My name is Yo. I'm your class monitor today. Today, we will have Mom Jackie as our teaching mom. Before we start the session, let's put our hands together and let's pay respect to Mom Jackie by bowing three times. First bow, second bow, third bow. Thank you. Can I invite Mom Jackie to start the session? Hello. <laughs> Hi. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone. Hello, our inner peace friends from all over the world. Hope you all are doing fine, staying happy, staying healthy, as always, in your body and mind. All right. Coming together uh, a couple of times a week is something really important to do. If we could do it every day to meditate on our own even, on a daily basis, that would be even better, right? Since we have to take a shower every day <laughs> to clean ourselves. Our mind needs to shower also to clean the mind, right? Meditation is that exactly what it is. It's a way to shower our mind. If you feel better, if you feel cleaner, if you feel fresher after every session, means you're practicing correctly. And like our phones, our electrical compliance, it needs charging, it needs electric in it for it to work, right? Our mind also needs energy. And in, in this case, if we have a lot of good positive energy, we'll be able to do things a lot better and a lot of positive things would happen to ourselves and everyone around us as well. Meditation is what will bring that positive energy into our lives. Hello, Hazel. Hello, Hazel's mom. Hello, Nilgan. Hello, Jesse. Hello, Janet. Hello, Yo. Elsa. And everyone here. Gwetsuan as well. Madel. All right. So before we begin our meditation together. Let's begin with a little bit of this it's a teaching from our master. Okay. When our mind becomes still, we will feel blissful. Time will not matter. We'll pay no attention to time. We'll be happy and won't want to go anywhere. Who feels this way during their meditation? Who feels... Uh, Nilgen, Tian, <laughs> smiling already. <laughs> Feeling that way already, I get... <laughs> Uh, see a lot of smiles. So if you feel blissful, if you feel happy, you feel just sitting right here, not worrying about time, not in a rush at all. Whatever happens, just let it happen. And you feel right, feel comfortable during meditation. That's a good indication that your mind has already come to a standstill. Right? What we always practice together is to get our body and mind comfortable, right? As it is the heart of meditation. If our body and mind is comfortable, we are getting the heart beating already, right? And we want to keep the heart of meditation beating, right? Like our heart, we want to keep it beating. So in meditation also, if you want to keep the heart of meditation beating, we have to keep our body and our mind comfortable all the way. But at some point, we might feel some tension, some drowsiness, or even some wandering thoughts. It uh, doesn't really matter. 
you know, we could always reset, right? Don't worry too much about them. Start all over, readjust, get your body and mind comfortable again. Then the heart will continue to beat and you'll be able to grow your meditation more. Okay. Now let's, let's do some more explanations about the teaching a little bit earlier. Okay. When this happens, when you're comfortable in your body and mind, you might start to feel light, right? Because comfort in this case could mean different for different people. Some people feel light, feel nice, and they say they're comfortable this way. Right? I'm not sure if anyone feels this way when they meditate. Feel lighter, feels uh, as if there's no body, there's no weight to our body, which is light in a vast space. All right. Well, some people may even say they feel as if there is a soft breeze coming through their body. Feel a cool breeze, gentle breeze inside. Feel fresh air just coming through the body, right? Instead of tension. I'm not sure if any of us has this feeling when you meditate. Okay, I'm sure, I'm sure we all do. Some may even feel bright. They say they feel good, they feel bright, they feel radiating, they feel they're beaming, right? Feel good, feel nice. A wonderful feeling, hard to explain, but different interpretation. Simply a similar feeling that we're having, okay? Some people may even say, now this is not uh, the Matrix or Star Wars or anything, okay? It's just, <laughs> it's just an example of the feeling inside of us when we're comfortable in our body and mind. We might feel we're moving forward in our meditation, moving, right? Some may even feel a dropping down sensation, just some feelings that we have inside, some sensations, some movements inside of our body. Okay, inside of our feelings, our mind, can't really see anything yet. Okay. Now all these feelings, all these feelings, um, including being comfortable, okay, could only happen when your mind becomes still. If we imagine ourselves going forward, if we imagine ourselves being light as a feather, right? it would be quite difficult to feel that way in real practice. But if we just don't worry, get our body and mind comfortable, our body and mind will get to that point of feeling automatically. We'll feel light, we'll feel bright, we'll feel shining, feel cool breeze, feel good, feel enjoy enjoyments in our meditation. Simply because our mind is at a point of standstill, believe it or not. Even though we do not know or we're not actually making our mind still, okay? we're not actually holding our mind at one place. We can or we don't, we don't, a <laughs> we don't have to also. We could go later on into details about this if you have any questions about that, what I've just said right now. But if we just let go, just to keep it simple, all right? If we just let go, if we just be comfortable in body and mind, our mind will become still on its own. And when you feel comfortable, when you feel light, when you feel good in your meditation, when you like the sensation, when time passes by and you don't really care about time anymore, you like to just sit there, and just feel relaxed. That's the indication that your mind has already come to a standstill. Okay. Now, what do we do next then? If our mind has already come to a standstill. Exactly like this. If the stones are stacked and they are balanced already, what else do we need to do to them? Do we need to keep 
them balance with our hands or do we need to try to adjust them or anything? Not really, right? We just let them go. Let them be, let them sit still all on their own. Okay? There's no need for us to do anything else anymore. When the mind becomes still, be calm, be relaxed, and let it be. Okay. We could also compare this to maybe turning on the television, the telly. You turn it on once, there's no need to do anything else to it, right? Unless we want to change channels. We just let it be, let it run. Maybe listening to music, we just turn the music on. And then we just enjoy the music without having to worry about the buttons or what to do with the player anymore, right? Hopefully I'm not going too fast. <laughs> if our mind is already feeling good, feeling relaxed, calm, it's already at a point of standstill, right? All there is to do left is absolutely nothing. Just to let it be, let it go. Keep it calm and still and it will bring you deeper and deeper into meditation automatically now sometimes we have tension is because we're actually doing something to the meditation without our intention to doing it but that's usually what happens um, in this case we can reset right we notice ourselves and we reset we start again from adjusting our body adjusting our mind, come back to the point of standstill, being comfortable, let go again. Practice this repeatedly. We'll become more familiar with the point of relaxing and being still. Okay. If we start to have wandering thoughts, bringing our mind away from that, um, that feeling of relaxation, reset, come back to being relaxed. Stack the stones again and just leave them be. If we have some drowsiness during our meditation, maybe losing awareness or something like that, right? Not feeling that relaxation anymore. Our awareness was with the relaxation, right? Once we feel drowsiness, we're just drifting off to other things. Reset. Come back to stacking the stones again. Come back to stealing our mind again. Adjusting the body and mind to be comfortable. We start again from there. Keep the balance keep going not too hard right hi Tati hello Lynn Daphne not too hard for sure because meditation is very very easy if it's not easy maybe we could adjust to be easier adjust it to be easier so these are the indications of our mind being still already. Keep that in mind, all right? Now, the more we practice, the more we become still. It goes deeper and deeper. The feelings becomes more prominent. It becomes stronger and stronger, like a magnet. Okay, it doesn't just stay there. If you stack the stones already, it doesn't just be there and nothing else happens, right? You're gonna feel good, if you keep your mind still, it's going to be stronger. The sensations are going to be more prominent. You're going to feel more drawn towards these happiness inside of us. Okay, like a magnet pulling you in, right? Getting rid of all the negativities on the outside, not letting them penetrate through your mind anymore. That is why meditation is very important as well, because if we're looking for true happiness, if we're looking for true freedom of the mind and attachments, right? Coming back to this point of happiness will bring you exactly what you're looking for, true happiness, the freedom of the mind, and it will become even stronger and stronger until your mind would want to be there automatically not wanting to go elsewhere, not wanting to be attached to things that could sometimes perish. And then from enjoyments that we have, some days we'll maybe depart from it, right? Maybe us or them would depart from each other. These happiness will be with us always. You can always access it at any time, any moment. 
even when you go out of space, if you had a if you have a chance, right? You could find that happiness if you like. All right. So when our magnet becomes stronger and stronger, we'll be able to be happy all on our own without relying on anything else. Okay. We'll be a refuge for ourselves for whenever we need happiness we simply relax and come back to that point of tranquility inside of us okay when we are bright when we are relaxed when we are happy able to rely on our own we'll be able to share this happiness with many more people around us, getting them to be happy also, getting them to feel light, feel brightness, feel the good feelings that we could find inside of us at any time, right? like what you guys are already doing. When we are bright, when we are happy, and we share this with everyone else, the world would be brighter and brighter. People around the world would be happier and happier. Right? We'll be like the sun that shines and brightens up the world. We'll have a brighter world. We'll have a world with people who are able to be happy on their own. Okay, We'll have a happier world, a world of true peace, true inner peace. That's also one of the reasons I mentioned to you all that you all are very, very important and very meritorious as well, right? Too, because many people in the world are trying to find happiness and they're finding it. They're able to find it right on the outside, but when they receive it, maybe it's not good enough, or it's if it's good enough, it could last for a while, and then they need to find something else again. They keep finding, keep searching, keep searching. The search would never really end. But we've already found right here where the search, the ending of the search actually is, right? If we find this happiness, we go deeper and deeper into it until we reach the destination. We are going to end all other negativities inside of our mind, be able to be bright, rely on ourselves, help other people, okay? Find the end of our search pretty much hopefully you all are proud of yourselves or are happy with your meditation so far and coming together every couple of times a week would refresh these passion or maybe if you have a lot of passions already uh, refresh the continuity or get the continuity going even we can meditate on our own it will be even better all right so i guess that's a, a a good amount of talk for tonight um let's get ourselves ready to meditate shall we right okay so adjust our body and mind as we like for a couple of moments before we start a meditation together All right. So, if we are ready, 
Let's begin by getting ourselves in our most comfortable position. Right? Sit how we feel comfortable. If you want to lean your back against something, feel free to do so. Or if you like to sit leaning your back against the air, you may do so as well. And when we are ready, let's softly and gently close our eyes. Softly and gently close our eyes. Just enough so that we feel relaxed and comfortable. There's no need to close our eyes all the way. Just enough so that we feel free from tension, free from worries. We feel good, feel calm, feel relaxed. And that's when we know it's good enough. Let's relax our face, our cheeks, our neck, our shoulders, torso, all the way down to the tips of our toes. Make sure every part of our body is completely relaxed. Make sure there is no tension in any part of our body at all. Take our time. There is no need to rush at all in meditation. Make sure our eyes are still closed properly. Make sure we feel relaxed. We feel calm. And we like how we're sitting, how we're relaxing. And let's let go of all worries. Let go of all responsibilities for now. Let everything be. Let everything go. Relax and enjoy this feeling of calmness and relaxation in our mind and our body as well. Once we start to feel relaxed, then at this point, it indicates that our mind has already come to a standstill. So there's no need to worry about doing anything with our mind anymore. Simply let go. Let it be. Let it flow. Let the positive energy just grow. like a mother hen incubating its baby eggs. Let 
And we're just sitting here, taking care of our mind. Taking care of our comfort, our relaxation. Letting everything be, letting everything go. Being gentle, being calm, being still. And at any point, if we start to have a slight tension, or maybe even some wandering thoughts or drowsiness, you could always reset and readjust. Come back to this feeling, this feeling that would give us purity. Let it keep flowing. Let it keep going. Let our mind, let our body keep doing its job, providing us this positive energy without us having to worry about anything at all. The more comfortable we are, the, med the better our meditation will be. So be as comfortable as you can, be as comfortable as you like. Be calm, be relaxed, enjoy every moment that the inner peace is bringing you. You may start to feel cozy. You may start to feel good. Feel right. You may start to like this feeling and feel as if you can stay with this feeling all day long or as long as time exists. and can be with this feeling forever. This feeling of true happiness, not wanting to go anywhere or have anything to do anymore. This is where true peace lies. The happiness that people all over the world are searching for. By searching for happiness at the wrong place, it would be very, very difficult or there will be no chance at all to finding true happiness or the happiness that they're actually looking for. But if we search at the right place, which is inside of our body, searching by not doing anything, searching by not searching, by relaxing and letting go, and we'll be able to find exactly what we are looking for. 
and we'll be able to find the tastiness that can't be taste with our taste buds but with our mind instead the profound taste of happiness this is the greatest taste of all brings us purity brings us success bring us all the happiness the positivity we long for So let's continue to still our mind, continue to be calm, be relaxed, be gentle. Keep this feeling going, keep it flowing. Pay no attention to whatever happens in our meditation. Let it be. Don't worry. Be happy. And at any point in your meditation, if you'd like to use an object of visualization, you may do so. And if you'd like to use a mantra, to calm the mind and to help the mind from wandering. You may do so as well. So let's just be calm, be still, use the method we like, what makes our body comfortable and our mind comfortable. We would know it for ourselves. Do what our mind likes. And our mind will take us deeper and deeper to where we like more and more. So let's spend this time together to accumulate merit for ourselves, accumulate true happiness and purity in silence for this time being.
as we are, relaxing as we are, releasing all our tensions, all our worries, all our responsibilities. As we are accumulating this feeling of relaxation from within, we are automatically accumulating a good amount of positive energy, a good amount of purity in our mind. And let's bring together all these positive energy from our past deeds as well, from our practice of generosity, from our practice of moral disciplines, and from us meditating together all these times. Let them all come together into a clean, clear crystal sphere, bright and shining, radiating. Be relaxed, be comfortable. And let's radiate our positive energy outwards to our family and our friends, our loved ones. Let's radiate our positive energy outwards even further into our community, into our city, outwards even further, reaching our whole country, reaching our whole world. And let's continue to share our loving kindness outwards even further into space, into the universe, outwards infinitely reaching everywhere, every space, every particles, cleansing everything in its path, reaching all humans and beings, no matter where they are. And let's switch for all beings to always be happy, to have part in all our positive energy, to be clean, clear, and pure in all their conducts, in their body, speech, and mind, be free from all defilements, all negativities, impurities, all sufferings and sadnesses. Be free from war, diseases, anger, hatred, disputes. Be free from the path to ruin. May all humans and all beings be fulfilled in all their wholesome wishes. <clears throat> be able to still their mind quickly and easily. Find true peace quickly and easily. Be the light for themselves and for other people quickly and easily 
and reach the utmost of purity as soon as possible. Let's spend a few moments together to share our loving kindness, our positive energy to all beings. Now that we've shared our loving kindness to all beings together, let's softly and gently bring our attention back to ourselves. Let's softly and gently bring our attention, our awareness back to ourselves, where we feel comfortable. at that point of relaxation, wherever it may be. When we are relaxed and comfortable, feeling pure and with all our merits, let's wish for ourselves to always be happy always be healthy, wealthy, be successful and fulfilled in all our wholesome wishes, free from sadnesses, sorrows, sufferings, free from pain, harms, dangers, diseases, free from all negativities, impurities, free from people who will try to harm us or take us onto the path to ruin. Always be surrounded by good, virtuous, and wise people. And may we always walk the path of righteousness. May we be able to find true peace quickly and easily still our mind quickly and easily at all times and reach the utmost of purity as soon as possible. And let's spend a few moments to wish for ourselves for what we need. as we have now reached the end of our session together. Let's recall ourselves being calm, being relaxed. Let's recall that feeling that we like from relaxing our body and mind. And let's keep this feeling with us as long as possible as much as possible, even if we finish the session. And when we are ready, let's softly and gently open our eyes. Sape Bhutta Palapata Bajega Nanjayang Palang 
อรหันตานันจเตเชนะรักขังพันธามิสัพพโสสัพพุทธานุภาเวนะสัพพธรรมานุภาเวนะสัพพสังขานุภาเวนะสทาโสธิพระวันตุเตนิสต์ที่ซีร์สมิลส์ถ้าคุณยังรู้สึกดีขึ้นรู้สึกสงบอยู่ในสิ่งที่คุณจะอยู่ในสิ่งที่คุณจะอยู่ในสิ่งที่คุณจะอยู่ในสิ่งที่คุณจะอยู่ในสิ่งที่คุณจะอยู่ในสิ่งที่คุณจะอยู่ในสิ่งที่คุณจะอยู่ในสิ่งที่คุณจะอยู่ในสิ่งที่คุณจะอยู่ Hope it was nice and relaxing and refreshing. And I'd like to pass the mic back to our moderator, Yo. Thanks, m o n j a k i We shall have our photo section. May I invite you to switch on your camera so that we can take a good family photo together. Keep smiling. Show your relaxed face. Thank you. We will have the Q and A session. So, if you have any questions, feel free to type in the chat box, or please share your meditation experience with Mong Jackie and also with us. Thank you. <laughs> Can I pass the session to Mong Jackie? Thank you, Yo. Yes, uh, it's very nice to have you all here to meditate together. And if you may, or if you like, uh, please share our meditation experiences together. If if you feel comfortable doing, all right, just to see where we are, uh, we can learn from each other and see where our group is at right now in our meditation. Right, we're on the same road. <laughs> we're on the same road, so we would surely learn from each other from. Our meditation experiences, or what we face in our meditation, that's what we do also as meditation, as monks, when we meditate with our teaching monks. Okay, we actually write also to our teaching monk every week, just to update our meditation experience, and that really helps encourage us to better our meditation once again. It's a funny story. Maybe I share it with you a little bit later. <laughs> Vanessa, thanks. Nice to see you. Hmm. All right. Uh, if you have any questions, also please, please ask. Please feel free to ask. Okay, I'll answer as best as I can. Yesterday. Hmm. Okay. Yesterday I had a session also speaking about. Um, these meditation experiences and some people sharing their experience did have a very very good meditation experience. Um, yeah, she was sitting. Usually, she would feel expansion. Let me and before I get to that, let me read some comments here from Jesse. Good evening, l o n g f i Jackie. Good evening, Jesse. Hope you are doing fine, Madel. A happy Thursday evening, Mount Jackie, everyone. Yes, happy Thursday. True happiness Thursday. Hopefully, that's that's a good name. Uh, Jesse, hello, all my stories friends from around the world. Hello, Jesse. From Madel, a happy Thursday. Ah, oh, okay, I'm reading the same thing again. Hey, so ho, good evening, Luffy Jackie, and hello everyone from Elsa. Hi, good morning, everyone. Good day, Elsa Marin from Mexico City. From Madel, yes. From Tian, happy to be with the mind, like group and venerable. Yes, happy to be with people who has the same mind, right? Who seeks goodness for themselves. Hmm. In Thai, we have a word. 
for this. The word is kalayanamit. Kalayanamit. Or virtuous friend. Right? A good friend. A group of people, good a group pe- a group of good people coming together and just helping each other walk a good path, right? Going towards the path of righteousness. Um, knowing what's good from bad and actually going towards the good side instead. It's against the current of the world completely. In a way, in a way, right? Some on, in some part of the world, they're still like promoting goodness, promoting peace. But sometimes we're promoting the 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 opposite as well. So, and the current of the world seems to be going a little bit towards that side. You know, um, it's the happiness on the outside, but we're looking for the happiness on the inside, right? So it takes a strong mind, a strong, a strong mind, basically, to be able to go this path and to increase the virtues in ourselves and to be a good role model for other, for people who are seeking goodness out there. There are for sure people who seek goodness, but there are no role models and there are no group of people like such, like this group, that they know of to want to join, to want to be part of it, and to want to further their goodness, right? This is a case similar to myself as well. Oh man, I have I have things that I have to share now before I forget everything. Okay, <laughs> okay so for the first thing is with the meditation experience, right? Uh, we do write them every week and then in our meditation experience we usually mm, we have to write how we improve also every week so if every week we have to maybe see the improvements in ourselves so there's no there's got to be some improvements to write right so that's why we it's good to have meditation experience reports to share to our teaching monks and maybe sharing it here together in our session will also help us see ourselves to see where we've been where we are right now is it easier is it um is it more understandable right now meditation compared to what we did before did uh do we have a better idea of what we feel we like in our meditation that feeling are we more certain of the feeling of comfort in our meditation that these things these things would tell us whether or not we've progressed in meditation yet or not right if you feel good if you feel right is if it's easier then you are progressing really well keep going the time spent in meditation it what is what will take us further and further reaching us deeper and deeper um, true happiness as well right that's the first story the second story is about uh, the session I had last night with another group. Okay. Um, this lady, usually she has a good meditation experience, right? Maybe expansion. But this time, just to share with us also, right? Because that was a good meditation experience. She was able to, well, she got up first, right? Because someone was watching something and it was bothering her a little bit. So she got up and she asked the person kindly to maybe lower the volume down. She came back to sit. Um, not every place is ideal for meditation, I guess. So it's lucky that we have a nice place for this session. So she, she sat down again. She closed her eyes and she said what she did was she breathed in, right? She used the breathing technique. She breathed in. And then as soon as she breathed in, she was able to feel light, calm, very nice. Then she breathed out. Then she did the same thing, right? But the second time, it's like she went deeper into her meditation. It's like she sank down a little bit more. Maybe the feeling becomes bigger a little bit more. Then she breathed out. Then she breathed in again. Then it became even bigger became even prominent she felt like she was sinking down into the floor felt really really good okay. so even though the feelings the meditation was just about feelings right her her sharing but actually this is very 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 good 
very, very good. So basically, if we're if we still our mind once, we will feel a good feeling of relaxation, right? Like what we've already done, what we're doing. It's like entering into a room. Okay, you have the key. You know how to get into a room. You steal your mind. You get in there. You feel this feeling inside that room. Now, sometimes we usually stay in the room just to be with that feeling. Or maybe you have some wandering thoughts, some tension, and just to be in about the same room and not sure what, where to go next. Okay. Maybe in some cases, all right, in some cases. In this room, there is a door that leads to another room, okay? This lady was able to, by using the same method, right? Repetition, remember, she used the same method. It brought her into another room, another meditation experience. Then she did it again, went to another room, another meditation experience. If she's able, if she was able to do this more and more, she'll be amazed at what she would find in meditation. I'm certain of that. Right, but just to share with you also of how these meditations could happen and it would hopefully this will benefit us all that we are on the right track already on the right path already repeat the technique that made us feel good made us feel right right you'll be able to go deeper and deeper into meditation okay just to share for uh, all right <laughs> Just uh, for the time you're typing. Hopefully that was interesting. It was very interesting for me. It was a very good meditation last night. Um, happy to be with friends like, okay, from the Mendra. I have a doubt here. Is it possible and advisable to do body scan meditation often? Um, depends on that. What body, what that body scan is. For example, if you're just looking at yourself, see whether or not you're having any tension. And then if you're re feeling relaxed already, you could just let go and just be with the feeling, right? And just continue from there. You're already still. But if you're constantly doing it, and maybe just pretty much not letting go of okay how could i put this to make it clearer for example like that stone like the picture of that stone let me just um, to do it often depends on how you feel right if you do it often if you do it once and you feel good and if you do it again you feel even better like the lady i've just mentioned and if you do it again you felt even better then you can do it often, right? Keep going, keep going deeper into meditation. But if you do it once, you feel good already. Second time, maybe not as uh, about the same thing. Or maybe the third time about the same. Or maybe a slightly more tension or something like that. See what feels good for you. Okay. Um, often or not depends on how you feel in your meditation. For if you already feel good, if you already stack the stones... You feel good you could just also let it go let the mind do its job let the mind become still on its own and it will travel within further and further on its own as well right so in this case you only have to do it once and then once you start to feel a little bit off balance you do it again to feel comfortable when you get that feeling just let it go let it be and let it continue to accumulate that positive energy Hopefully that answers the question, Devendra. If, 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 if it's not clear, right? If you feel, uh, if you have some more questions, please ask it also. From Vanessa, hi all, hi Vanessa. From CJ, thank you, Maljaki. I had a Sabai meditation. From Nugan, thanks. From Vanessa, hello, Maljaki. Long time no see. Ya. It was a pretty nice session. Thank you. The best from months for me. Mm, very nice. You must have did something right. Rejoice in your merit. Um, Mount Jackie, please share your story about writing to your master. Uh, 
my my teaching monk, right? Writing, <laughs> you are one of my best. Um, thank you. I'm just a teaching monk, right? About today's meditation, I felt a few moments of this. If you meditate well, Vanessa, I also mentioned to to the last session. This is pretty much a phase of meditation. A phase where we go more and more into our true happiness inside. If we reach the goal of this phase, a certain happiness in our mind, let's put it that way, that goal. The next phase is another another phase the next phase is another phase it will be taught it will be taught by uh, another teacher i would say it's the teacher's duty to teach that second phase right hopefully that makes sense but yeah uh, just to mention that i'm just maybe guiding us to be able to walk a certain Milestone, right? About today's meditation, I felt a few moments of bliss, in particular during met meta, meta, meta. Very nice. So remember what you did that you made you feel good. Okay, remember what you did that made you feel good. Repeat that. Do something similar. It doesn't have to be exactly the same. Maybe you were spreading out your feelings, your positive feelings from the inside. And that made you feel light, feel good, feel relaxed. Try doing that again. Maybe at the beginning of the session, even. If that's done, then you feel good already. Be with that feeling as long as possible. Once we're starting to lose that feeling, come back to the method again until it brings you that relaxation and then be with that feeling once again repeat 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 it will bring you deeper and deeper and deeper into meditation okay from vanessa metta is more energet energetically heavy for me and sometimes i wonder if it will deplete me but often stram strangely it kicks in some energy for in turn which is a huge plus yes the more we share the more we will receive, right? Sharing our energy will not deplete it. It will only get it bigger and bigger. From Elsa, thank you, thank you. Good, relax, I'm like too much, thank Monk Jackie. From Vanessa, Dana, I guess. From Yo, Monk Jackie, I used to write down the meditation experiences for every session, but I stop as every meditation is using different method. Can I ask, what is the reason of writing meditation experience? Do you use the same method to every meditation session from Yo? Good question. Good question. Um, the purpose of writing meditation experiences is for us to observe ourselves of what we did well and what we did that wasn't so good in our meditation. That didn't really give good results. Okay. And then we focus on what we did well and repeat that repeat that and lessen the things that didn't work for us well right that's the purpose of writing sometimes we forget what we did earlier that got us to uh, the good meditation experience right so writing it down helps us remember also maybe a, a month would pass by and then we come back to look at our journal we will see what we did good on that day or maybe we would be proud of ourselves for doing such thing and then having good meditation experiences even okay gives us the encouragement to keep going keep meditating as well do you use the same method in every meditation session no no whichever method that is good for you at that moment at that moment if you like visualization at that moment use visualization if you like mantra use mantra if you like to just be still relax let go be still relax let go okay sometimes i would just uh almost make myself realize that there's nothing much we can control right 
not even our age, our sickness, our the weather, or anything else. There's nothing much we can control. Once I made myself realize that, my mind automatically lets go. Ah, uh, right. So these things could be taken into use as techniques. Or you could try also, almost like touching a point of comfort in your mind. If you've touched it, your job is done. Pretty much when you feel that your job is done, there's nothing else to do, you automatically let go as well. And then just be with that feeling. Depends on, in one session, the method could vary as well, right? So whatever works best for you at that moment, that's going to be the best method. From the Mendra, body scan meditation, okay? If you scan your body and you feel good, do so. If you scan and you like to just let go instead, and just feel more relaxed letting go, try that, try that. See which works good and then use that method. Okay. Vanessa, anywho, anyhow, to be noted, as usual, I had two huge eurekas at the 40th moment, uh, minute, as usual. One about a work project I've been postponing a lot and another about the sale on my flat. A huge decision, but I just seized me in a moment. The price that was, uh-huh, just fair. I love those moments. Still don't know what to do with the eye surgery, but I guess it'll come at another meditation. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Ah, so you have some good decision makings in your meditation as well. That's, that's good, that's good. All right, maybe sometimes if we have some thoughts come up in our meditation. When we're feeling good, sometimes we have some, some good thoughts, right? Maybe what well, we're trying to decide a little bit earlier. When we have some thoughts in our meditation and it's like a eureka, right? We could write them down so that we don't have to continue thinking about it also. And then once that's done, we come to meditate and when we keep going, right? Maybe something else would pop up that answers your question in meditation. You can also write them down. Or maybe you realize that you had to do something, right? And then maybe you could, you have to do it later. And in case you forget and try to reminisce about it, try to think about it can write them down and then it will be done like putting things into the drawer once it's done you can continue meditating without any more worries let's put it right like that <clears throat> one thing our master our master nun does also and just to share with you in case this would work <clears throat> sorry she says that when we are doing projects, we're doing work, when we have some, some things to figure out or to think about in our jobs, you can try meditating and putting those jobs inside of your center. That's what she said. Put the work inside of your center. Be still, be relaxed. And then the answers to the problems you'll be given, right? You'll be able to figure out the answers to the problems and then work with a better flow, with a relaxed mind. You can try that if you like. From Pam, Namasakan, Lumpijaki. Thank you for a very nice and peaceful session. Felt brightness inside. Rejoice in your merit. Happy today. But this week, my meditation session was falling asleep easily, especially in the morning and, use, and using Thai guided version. But when using English, it helps to stay with conscious and have balance better. Kindly advice, please. Thank you. Okay. So, um, guided meditations. Again, see what works best for you, right? Use what is uh, best for you at that moment. If you feel like maybe today I'd like to do more of the Thai guided meditation, go towards that. If you feel maybe an English one would be of a better choice today, then go with the English version, right? Or maybe maybe not using any guided meditation at all. Maybe just wanting to sit, be still. You can do that instead as well. See what works good 
go with that. Keep repeating the things that make you feel good. And then you're going to be advancing in meditation. I have a couple more minutes. From Tian. I meditated for 55 minutes. Focus on gentleness at the 0, 7, 2. Usually I might get pressure a bit, so I re rechecked physical body at times to be without any discomfort and with relaxation. I adjusted the mind to get balanced by uplifting eyelids more. I dropped my eyes up a little bit. I drew my eyes up a little bit and found out the light outside was dimmer than in my body. Wow, very nice. But I let go and stayed with the mantra subtly. I visualized a crystal sphere, but it came with start startling feeling. So I screamed a bit, but let go. Stayed neutral, and that sphere melt away and blended. I visualized expand longpu, amulet, and kind of human-like crystallized body expand. I didn't get the details as they took place fast, like in a second. After that, I didn't have anything, even not breathing. When Venerable mentioned anything, it was crystallized at 072 only. I share loving kindness to self first and share it to the others all over the world. Very nice. Rejoice in your merit, Tian. Rejoice in your merit. Hmm. If you're able to have uh, good meditation experiences, right? Again, remember what you did to be able to get there. Your consistency is what brought you to a good level of meditation experience already. And consistency, again, is going to bring you deeper and deeper into your meditation, right? This is very nice. Um, having good meditation experiences like this, right? Not a, mm, I would say not a lot of people in this world are able to find just yet. And if we are able to find these meditation experiences in ourselves, we're going to be the proof that when our mind becomes still, we will receive true happiness. And the more we still our mind, we will be able to find other things inside of our mind. Okay, very nice. Keep going. Keep going. You're doing really well. Okay, at first I saw myself and turned to a crystal, many experienced but needed to let go. From Demendra, thanks, sir. From Tian, I drifted off a bit but uplifted the eyelids. Very good. So you know how to overcome um, obstacles in the meditation, right? Resetting will get you deeper. From Demendra, yes, sir. From Tian, I hurt my eyes but it's positive to me as I needed to my to use my mind more than usual. Ah, okay. So you found the good, uh, the silver lining of the clouds, right? Very nice. Yeah, sometimes we do have some aches in our body. If we could find a positive side of that, maybe it will encourage us to meditate even better. Madel, can one be attached to meditation? If so, why? If not, why? Be attached to meditation. Very nice question. We have only one minute left. I'll come to I'll come to back to this question in just a bit. From Nugan, how did meditation practice start in history? In history, uh, mm, from what I've learned, it started even before the Buddha's time. Right? There were ascetics. There were people who practiced meditation. It's basically a study of the mind. Okay, and it's been practiced for many generations. So, um, maybe finding its origin would be very difficult. Okay, but for Buddhism, right, in this period, it started when the Prince Siddhartha went out to find um, the ending of suffering. Right, since he knows we, he would someday maybe become sick, become aged and face death right someday and that 
is suffering for him. So he wants to find a way out, so he did. And then he, he meditated, and then he found the path to true happiness. And that's how it started for this generation of Buddhism. From the Mendra, good question, Madel. I'm curious too. <laughs> From Fu, I have been practicing by chanting mantra. Example, may I be well. But doesn't feel like I'm getting anywhere or getting results. How do I proceed in my practice? Thank you. From Fu. If you use the mantra, may I be well, and don't feel really relaxed, right? Then try just relaxing without using the mantra. Or maybe if you like to use the, uh, an object of visualization, a crystal sphere, or maybe a sun at the center of the body, or maybe outside. See where it feels good for you. Start from that feeling of comfort, then keep going from there. Okay? From the Mendra. Agree 100% Mount Jackie from you. Thanks, Mount Jackie. Uh, the Mendra, I have cleared my doubts. Okay, from Tian. Now I saw a bright sphere from your back. <laughs> yeah, there's a there's a light back here. <laughs> well, maybe <laughs> or maybe a different light from Madel. Can one be attached to meditation? If so, why? One, I would say one can be attached to meditation, but a different type of attachment that we know of that we know of, right? Attachments to meditation in this case is when we're able to still our mind and be happy, okay? Things are always trying to pull us away from this happiness, not wanting us to be happy with our inside. But if we are able to train our mind to come back to this happiness more often, it will become bigger and stronger, like a magnet pulling us in. Okay. In this case, our mind will automatically be attached to that happiness, right? And really doesn't want to go anywhere. And at that point, no negativities will be able to penetrate. Okay. That's when the attachment to meditation happens. All right. And that's actually a good thing that brings you deeper and deeper inside your meditation. Right. Does that answer? Can one be attached to meditation? If so, why? If not, why? So if so, yes, in this sense, you're going to be attached to that happiness feeling inside because it draws you in and you'll be able to go deeper and deeper and find better, better things inside as well. All right. So I guess that's a good time for us. Hopefully that was a good session once again together. Okay. Keep practicing. Keep practicing meditation. You're on a really good path already. Just be happy. Be calm in both your body and mind. Go deeper and deeper. You'll find these answers for yourself and be able to answer others as well of why you meditate, why you like to be calm, why you like to be happy. Okay. Rejoice in all your merits. Thank you, Mom Jackie, for the wonderful session and your continuous advice to still our mind so that we can find our inner happiness. Thank you, everyone, for joining the session today. And did anyone miss the full moon session in the last session? Next week, on Monday, we will have Mom Daniel. And on Wednesday, on the 13th July, we will have another Mind Story session led by Mom John. So please free your schedule if you want to join the session. Same time, posters will be out and will be shared. And we will have session on Thursday. So next week is very special. We will have three sessions. So thank you everyone for joining. And before we end the session, let's pay our respect to Mom Jackie by putting our palms together and bow three times. First bow. Second bow, third bow. With all our accumulated positive energy, may it bear fruit to us all, bringing us 
the best of health, wealth, and success. May we be fulfilled in all our wholesome wishes. May we find true happiness quickly and easily and reach the utmost of purity as soon as possible. Thank you, Mong Jackie. Thank you, everyone. See you next Monday. Have a good Friday and good weekend. Bye. Thank you.